Hey, welcome back YouTube universe. Now, your success as an options trader is going to be in direct relationship to your fundamental knowledge of options. That's why I developed this series on options 101 for beginners. In today's lesson, lesson number seven will cover premiums. Now, a premium is nothing more than what a buyer pays to enter into an options contract. And also, this is what the, re the seller receives. So let's go ahead and dive into lesson number seven, get a better understanding of premium. Your premiums could be made up of two values, could be intrinsic and or extrinsic. Intrinsic value, let's go over that. Intrinsic value is considered to be the true value portion of the premium. When you look at in the money strike prices, the premiums will have intrinsic value. Now, when you're dealing with in the money call options, remember, that the current price is more than the strike price. That's how you know when it's in the money. On a put option, you know it's in the money when the current price is less than the strike price. Now, on the, on the extrinsic value side, there are four main points. Point number one, extrinsic value is nothing more than the time value portion of the premium. And what you're going to find is the time value and extrinsic value, those two terms are gonna be interchangeable. You'll probably hear more time value than anything else, but the actual technical term is extrinsic value. Now, out of the money strike price will never have any intrinsic value. Keep that in mind. Out of the money is 100% time value. And always remember, extrinsic value decays over time. As you get closer to your expiration date, the extrinsic value portion of your premiums will start to decay and decay fast. Now let's take a look at an example. Let's look at a call option. All right, let's take a look at this example here. The, the stock is workhorse and what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the call portion of this options trade. And as you can see, as of the 15th of uh, January, that's when I uh, did a snapshot of this, the price of workhorse is at 23.34. Now, remember to be considered in the money, the strike price must be less than the actual current price of the stock. So what we're gonna do, and to be considered out of the money, the the strike price must be more than the current uh, uh, price of the stock. So what we're going to do is this here. Let's look at three examples when it comes to this, this particular one here. Okay, let's narrow this down. We have a strike price of 20, 23, and 26, with the current price being 23.34. All right, let's, let's focus on the $20 strike price. As you can see, that's circled in green, the premium for this is $7.20. Now, since that $20 strike price is in the money, it's lower than the current price, we have to figure out, okay, what portion of it is intrinsic and what portion of it is extrinsic. We know that the premium is $7.20. Now, the strike price is approximately $3.34 uh, away from the current price of the stock. That is the intrinsic value. So if you look down there on the $20 strike price with a $7.20 premium, the intrinsic value, the true value of that premium, $3.34 is intrinsic, true value. Everything else, which is $3.86, is extrinsic value or time value. That portion of it, if the price of the stock stays the same, that portion of it is going to decay as we get closer to the expiration date. 
Let's look at the second example. Second example is another in the money strike price of $23. The premium is $570. Now, the difference between the strike price and the current price is only 34 cents. So it's only 34 cents in the money. The intrinsic value of that 570, 34 cents of it is intrinsic value. The rest, that 536, all extrinsic value, time value. Now let's take a look at out of the money. Let's look at the $26 strike price. That is 100% out of the money. Uh, the premium is 456. And as we stated earlier, out of the money will not have any intrinsic value. So that 456 is all extrinsic time value. And once again, as we get closer to the actual expiration date, uh, the extrinsic value will start to decay fast. All right, that's on the call side of the house. Let's look at the same example, but we're going to focus on the put side of the house. All right, on the put side of the house, let's focus on the same three strike prices. 20, 23, 26. Current price, 23.34. Let's take a look at this. All right, here we go. Now, you know the opposite when it comes to in the money applies when you're dealing with a put versus the call. Now, as you can see, the $20 strike price, the premium is... $3.75. All right. So that since that is out of the money, remember, out of the money, there is no intrinsic value. Out of the money strike prices, no intrinsic value. So that's considered out of the money. So that $3.75 is 100% extrinsic value, time value. Same thing with 23, strike price of 23. The premium for 23 is $5.40. $5 since it is considered out of the money, since it is out of the money, that 540 is 100% extrinsic value. Now, the difference is now when we look at that strike price of 26, that's in the money. And it's in the money by $2.66. So the premium is 708. You take the 266 from the 708, that's the intrinsic value with the 266. You take that away from the 708, and what do you have? You have $4.42 of extrinsic value. Time decay is going to eat that away. So now we have an idea of the value when it comes to your premiums. As you can see, there's two values when dealing with the premiums, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic is going to be the true value that's in the stock. That's going to be the 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 in the money portion of the stock. The extrinsic is going to be the time portion of the stock. Some premiums may have a combination of both. If it's out of the money, it's not going to have any intrinsic. That is 100% extrinsic value. So hopefully this information was useful to you. Now I need you guys to listen up. There's three things that I'm always going to emphasize and that is you need to save. If you're saving, great. If you're not saving, start. You need to invest. In other words, put your money to work and always apply what you know because knowledge is not power it's the application of knowledge is true power hey i'll see you guys in the next video take care Good morning. that's right go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button followed by that notification button that'll help out the channel thanks